Two GEF 404 engines pulling up to their maximum thrust, producing over 36,000 pounds of raw power. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2008 Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show presents your F A A T Hornet.
the exhaust. Now, depending on the clouds here, Major Field will perform his repositioning maneuver to align his aircraft with the show line. He'll approach at 300 miles an hour, and he'll demonstrate the superb nose authority and the ability of the F-18 to point at an adversary aircraft. This ability, combined with an awesome arsenal of air to air weapons, makes the F-18 a world-class fighter that is feared worldwide. If he's got the altitude, he's going to yank up on the stick and go from level flight to almost straight up within about a second and a half. Let's see if we got the pitch rate right demo. Nope.
We think this design has a lot of potential. Two engines, first of all, made it very, very desirable for the Navy because when you're at sea and only one engine is on the airplane, now it's nice to have two. There's a lot of insurance in that. So the Navy got together with McDonnell Douglas and took the basic design of the YF-17, adapted it for Navy use. Among the things they did were to strengthen the landing gear, and it has become a winner for the Navy since the mid-1970s. Or for the late 1970s, I believe the first Hornet flight was in 1978. And now the Super Hornet has joined the Legacy Hornet to become the prime defenders of the fleet. Super Hornet first flew in 1995. And we'll see all of the Hornets, both the, uh, a number of Hornets, both the, the Legacy Hornets, the C model Hornets, as well as the E and F model Super Hornets flying here today in our air, air power demonstration and in the fleet flyby. I hope you'll join me in a nice round of applause for Major Tom Sally Fields flying the F-A-18 Hornet. And on behalf of the United States Navy and the Commander of Strike Fighter Wing Atlantic and the Commanding Officer of Strike Fighter Squadron 106, we thank you for allowing us to demonstrate the F-A-18 Hornet. He'll be taxiing in, and in just a moment we'll be going live to the cockpit with Manfred Radius. Manfred is in a sailplane high above, and uh, looks like we're going to have enough sky above for him to uh, do a great demonstration for us here. So uh, we'll be uh, looking for him to come overhead very, very soon. I'm going to fire up my handheld here and uh, get on the uh, special frequency to talk to Manfred. And let me put out a call to Manfred. Hello, Manfred Radius, are you with us? All right, Manfred, uh, I know you're under tow. We've got you on the sound system. A pleasant good morning to you, Manfred Radius. Good morning, Rob Ryder. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Manfred Radius. I'm speaking to you from the company of my glider, what we call the city of I have had an attitude of 6,000 people and 40 on your level. However, with all those clouds, you probably know 